What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have something really cool to talk about. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Collection. Konami announced today that it's going to be released sometime this year. Who knows the exact date, but what good news. We're going to have 13 games released that were from the arcade and consoles, handhelds, you name it. And it's going to be released across all platforms. You can have Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam. You're all going to be able to get it and you're all going to be able to play it. And also today is March 10th, also known as National Mario Day. So I hope you guys are going to go out there and play some Mario games and have a good time. Now, I did want to mention, since we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there are two YouTube channels that I really want you guys to know about. In the 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, Judith Hogue, played April O'Neil. She has her own channel and she has an uplifting and positive message that she always brings and she has live streams every Wednesday that you guys should check out. Now there's a second channel as well where she gets together with the other actors who were in that movie and they reminisce about the hard times, the good times, and all the times in between. So we'll also go over that as well. If you're a new viewer here, make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know, are you stoked for this Cowabunga collection? Uh, I really am. I can't wait to see it. So, all right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first thing you do when you go to the Konami website is you gotta check out the trailer for the Cowabunga collection. All right, let's check this out. Another great intro, just all the colors and going down in the sewers and oh, you got Game Boy. Looks like you got a lot of the home consoles from NES and SNES. Get a slice of the action. Tournament Fighters, that was a really fun one back in the day. I remember playing that one. The arcade game, I mean, who didn't like the arcade game? It was in all your roller rinks and arcades and it was everywhere. Manhattan Project, that was another really good one. I mean, all of them are really good. Like, like would you not like them? Turtles in Time, I remember that one being in the arcade and I was just like, man, that is such an awesome game too. Oh, and you got Emulation, Save and rewind so if you get stuck on a point you can just keep rewinding and going back until you can get through it that's cool turtles in time such a great game well if that video didn't sell you on it i don't know what is <laughs> all right let's check the rest of the website out first thing you'll see is that the 13 games are going to be released on playstation 5 4 xbox series x and s one Nintendo Switch and PC Stream physical release and digital versions will be available as well for an SRP of $39.99. And it said there's a Japanese version as well, but it has an asterisk next to it, so we'll see what that means. The games included are going to be the TMNT arcade game, Turtles in Time arcade, the Turtles NES game, the arcade game for the NES, Manhattan Project for the NES. Tournament Fighters for the NES, Turtles 4, Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo, Tournament Fighters for Super Nintendo, the Hyperstone Heist for the Genesis, Tournament Fighters for the Sega Genesis, Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for Game Boy, Back from the Sewers Game Boy, and Radical Rescue for the Game Boy as well. At the bottom of the page it says there are 11 Japanese regional versions total. No Japanese versions released for TMNT Arcade and TMNT Tournament Fighters NES. There will be online functionality for the TMNT Arcade game, for Turtles in Time, for Hyperstone Heist, and for Tournament Fighters. And this is great news because I really like fighting games if you haven't learned already. I'm a huge Street Fighter fan and any kind of tournament fighting style game and having online functionality is key. I'm really gonna, that basically has sold it for me. I'm gonna get this. All right guys, moving on to Judith Hoag's YouTube channel. As you can see, she's been a member since 2017. She has tons of videos out for you guys to check out. 
I would recommend that you check it out. You can see here with the Wake Up Wednesday Live where you can interact with her through the chat and she'll answer your questions. And she's pretty responsive too. So um, definitely something that you guys may want to check out. Then under her video section, you can see she's got a lot of TMNT footage already there. And the second channel has a lot more, probably more in depth, but this one covers a lot as well. She's pretty active on the community tab as well, and you can see right here she has an action figure that is identical from the movie, and it's literally right there at the barn from one of the scenes, and she puts up poles and things like that. And it looks like she attends some conventions from time to time, which would be pretty cool if she came to my state. I've actually met a few of the original Power Rangers, and I'm trying to meet them all, so it would be cool to meet her as well. Yeah, and these action figures, they're really quite screen accurate. Like she's wearing the proper clothes, she's got the purse, the sigh from Raphael, some pizzas, and then another scene right here where she's with Splinter, so that's pretty cool. We should probably go ahead and check out the other page now. The second page is called the Cowabunga Production Company. I really like this one because you get to see all of the actors interact. Judith kind of acts as a mediator or an interviewer where she sits down with like the producers like Kim Dawson. They talk about the stop motion, the puppeteers, the amount of work and effort and money that went into the production of this movie that you wouldn't see with the new movies now since there's CGI and things like that. I really like when they did the reading of the lines like James Sato read some of his lines as the shredder and it just brings you right back to that nostalgia feeling of being there watching the movie again. On the YouTube site there's a link to the Cowabunga Production Company's website and you can go to their shop and the first thing you'll see is a 30th anniversary signed TMNT original screenplay limited edition. Now it is kind of expensive, $250, but it has all of the dialogue from the movie. It has all these awesome sketches and things that you just aren't going to get anywhere else. And if you're a diehard collector or a huge TMNT fan, I kind of feel like this might be something that you'd want to know about. There's also a 30th anniversary limited edition signed poster as well. You can see it there for $50. Pretty steep, but with all the signatures, it doesn't seem like it's that bad of a deal. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Happy Mario Bros. Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Are you going to buy the Cowabunga collection? Are you going to go check out the Cowabunga company? And are you going to check out Judith Hoag's page? If you are, let me know. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.